Yes. More now on early Walker, the efforts by businessmen who are stepping in to help find killers. We just heard from him at this press conference and CBS 2's Jim Williams talked with him today. We've heard the pleas to find a loved one's killer. My baby put gone. I pray for him and I want justice for him. And rewards offered to entice witnesses to come forward. Is a $40,000 reward on your head? But businessman Early Walker knows fear often keeps people from calling the police, even when there is a financial incentive. Fear criminals will retaliate. A lot of people say, hey, I wouldn't mind helping out, but I don't have any funds to move. I can't relocate. So, you know, I'm, I'm not saying anything. And so Walker had an idea. Why not give some of the reward money to witnesses after an arrest, but even before a conviction? they would have money to relocate to a safe place. So that's why we decided to add this additional step to our, our mission. Walker launched his mission with thoughts of his childhood on Chicago's west side. Seeing a lot of friends that I've lost to gun violence. You know, I just felt like, you know, I needed to do something. I, I think it's a noble idea uh, that may spark some uh, more community involvement. But longtime and community and leader and Bishop James Dukes, who's been involved in many efforts to curb violent crime, says often family members of killers have valuable information, but they will not cooperate with law enforcement. I don't know if there is a monetary amount that will make uh, what they will view, uh, view as them telling, snitching, or betraying their own family members. Early Walker, though, told us 50 fellow businessmen and women are signing on. The group is literally a few months old, um, and we are growing as every day goes on. We get more business owners that want to be a part. Early Walker, who owns a towing company and a funeral home, among other businesses, says they have delivered reward money in two cases so far, cases he is not revealing, to protect the witnesses. We're live, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Jim, thank you.